In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to use Copilot. Copilot is an artificial intelligence developed by Microsoft, which you can use to create beautiful documents. Okay, you can also use it to query a document you have already created, and Copilot will provide answer to what you need. Take for example, you have a document containing an article about do not disturb. Okay. At the end, you can tell Copilot to summarize the content of that in just two sentences. And it does that for you. So let's see how it is works. Okay, first get your computer connected to the internet. After that, click on the Word app for it to open. So I'll click on Start. Then I'll select it from here. Okay, normally as it opens, you'll be landing on this interface. So let's work with blank documents. So I'll click on blank documents. All right. We are going to start the use of Copilot here. So, by this taskbar area, you can see Copilot preview here. So, I'll click on it for it to open. But if you don't see that on your own Windows 11 laptop, that means you need to make an update. So, what you need to do is quickly click on Start, select Settings, select Windows Update. Then check for update. Once you check for update, your computer should be able to dictate that there are new updates available. Okay, so install the updates and restart your PC. You will have this preview here. Okay, then you can start making use of it. So let's get back to the word and continue what you want to do. All right, so I want Copilot to write me an application letter to Amazon Kindle for the position of the sales manager. So look at how we construct that. Let's say write me okay an application letter later to Amazon Kindle. For the position of sales manager, highlight that I have over ten years of experience in sales management. Okay, look at how what we have here. Say write me an application letter to Amazon Kindle for the position of sales manager. Highlight that I have over 10 years of experience in sales management. The more descriptive you are, the more better results Copilot will return to you. Okay? So, whatever you want to ask Copilot to create for you, be detailed enough. Okay? So, after you have typed what you want the program to generate for you, press the Enter key of your computer keyboard. And then wait for it to return the results. Okay, it has returned the result for us because we want to have this in one document. So I'll click on copy, get to my document, and then next. Okay, so what you need to do in this case is for you to read through. There are, if there are some places you need to fill or make adjustments, you can. You need to do that. For example, since only your name, so you have to add your name here. So read through for the because of the duration of this video, I wouldn't like to read everything. Okay. For example, now let's just capture some subjects. Application for sales manager position at Amazon Kindle. Dear manager, I am writing to express my interest in the sales manager position at Amazon Kindle with over 10 years of experience in sales management. I am confident in my ability to drive revenue growth and lead a high performing sales team. Okay, so in your own case, just give a prompt 
similar to this and then it will generate for you once it generates it for you you copy and then paste inside your document okay all right let's experiment with another prompt in this prompt i want um copilot to create an article for me on how to um stop do not disturb on iphone so you will see how is going to do that within a short time so let's refresh this okay refresh and then give it another work for it to do for us okay okay here is my prompt i say write me an article on how to enable do not disturb on iphone so after that press the enter key okay you can see it has returned the result it says certainly here is a comprehensive guide on how to enable do not disturb mode on your iphone using control center so you can read through from your own end here yeah, i don't have that time so what i need to do is just to copy this and then get to my document and then press it okay for my future use if i want to have it in my blog i will edit it for that because google meditate that this is purely ai generated okay so you know what you need answer on and after that you make the possible editing okay so here i want to ask this ai for the question to summarize this in three sentences because it is long so i will just say summarize in three sentences sentences and then press the enter key okay you can see it has summarized this in three sentences and it makes it shorter for me okay so these are just how you can use copilot in microsoft word if you like this you can just go ahead and copy and then paste into the document okay now if you are using maybe older version of windows you can still access this feature from the web okay so let me guide you on how you can do that minimize this window okay open your web browser whether you're using edge or chrome or any other web browser of your choice and then visit microsoft365.com you must be a microsoft 365 subscriber for you to use this because it is a new feature okay that is the advantage this should have over other programs of microsoft so once you are landed on this page once this page opens you may see an interface that looks like this or you may need to log in here i'm logged in automatically because i'll be using this program okay on this browser and i save my details here so once you're on this page select world okay and then go with blank documents once this blank document opens you can do virtually everything you want to do see the copilot icon here so you can click on copilot and then ask it the question you want and it will generate the question the answer to you okay i hope you enjoyed this guide and it's detailed enough please hit that like button for me subscribe to my channel if you have not done that and leave a comment in the comment section i want to know how what you have to say about this feature if it's a good one let me hear you say in the comment section if it's not a good one still leave that in the comment section see you next time